All right, so I've been making uh, games for friends who have kids. Um, and something that I thought would be kind of fun for the kids is a way to update the game in real time so the parents could like add text or images or whatever. Uh, this example is gonna show you how to do that with an image. Um, so it's gonna pull down URLs from a Google spreadsheet and then it'll download those images and throw them onto these little billboard things. Um, so uh, kind of walk through of that. If you grab a image address, throw it into a Google spreadsheet, um, what this is going to do is it's going to read that spreadsheet and download those images and throw them on here all in real time. So it doesn't have to be packaged into the game. You can change those as you'd like, and it'll just, uh, populate them with whatever you want. So how it works, um, we have, uh, a, a material here that has a parameter for its color. Uh, you can set, you know, em emissive, metallic, specular, whatever you want to those. That's fine. Um, the magic is going to happen inside of, uh, this little actor I made Google doc reader, which makes a VA rest request. You need to have this as the plugin, uh, enabled. So if you go to your settings, plugins, um, type in VA rest, that just needs to be enabled, um, or installed in your engine, whatever. Um, you use the Google spreadsheet URL. That's going to be the URL of your actual, um, uh, the Google spreadsheet that, um, you've edited, you want to put that here and then, um, you're going to need an API key. They're free to get from Google. I'm not going to cover that in this, but you know, you just throw that in there here. Um, so I'm going to X out these specific things, um, for the, the GitHub, just so that you guys can also kind of see that. Um, we bind an, an event on the request complete. I put one here for fail just for debug purposes and then you execute the actual request. So this is just setting up a callback. Once we get that data, um, we're looping through the array, uh, the values that we're getting out of it. We're essentially just adding all of those URLs to an array, and then we loop through and we get all of the billboards actors in the, this level. So this works as, as many as you wanna add, um, it should automatically uh, just populate them. So if I like copy paste this, add another one over here, hit play, he'll get another one on there. There's only three in there. So it, it just gets, you know, one of those. So it loops through all of those adds one of all, um, the URLs to it. It uses a modulo so that, you know, we're just kind of looping through all the strings that are in there. And then it calls download billboard on those billboard actors download billboard. All it really does is it creates a dynamic material on the construction sets that onto uh, the plane that we've set up, the little 3D model, whatever. And then download image is what actually does the downloading. After it succeeds, it puts that texture into the uh, dynamic material. Um, the parameter was color that we set up. If you remember from the first thing, this was the parameter there. Um, and that's basically it. The, the real magic uh, happens in the VA rest parsing here. And then uh, this download image, which is built into the Unreal. Uh, but I'm going to throw this into uh, GitHub, and you can play with it, do whatever you want. That's it. Goodbye. Okay,